Yeah, this is a structure of as a table. You have a table, you have a top, you have uh, two long rail and you have uh, two short rail. Okay, so now I write in the table, the structure. Now first you have a, a top and then you have uh, you have leg then you have shock rail then you have long rail okay and this one uh, in many uh, of the case, you would do it horizontally. Horizontally. Yeah. For example, you have the table one. You have many types of table. Table number two and table number three. So these are different types of table. This one you need one top, one top, one top. This one you need uh, four leg. Okay, this one you need four leg. You need two short rail and two long rail. Okay, if you uh, produce someone that the four rails are the same, uh, the same length, you would have the four legs and four, uh, for example, four long rails. Okay, or you need have even you have some uh, eight leg, okay, with uh, how many short rails? If you have short rails, right? No, seven. Seven short rails because you, you make a cycle, okay? So this is a structure. This is a structure, and this one is a product. You have many different, and this one you would say this is a BOM or built up material. Okay, now for example, uh, I would say that in the first week, first week, second week, third week, fourth week for the table number one. You, uh, I'm going to sell. Uh, I, I have an order. Okay. So I have an order of uh, like uh, a pen. Okay. Uh, in your stock, in your stock, you already have five, and that stock. Is the uh, yeah, that stock uh, you know is uh, the projected on hand, right? It's projected on hand, uh, and then you have the net okay. net net requirement. Net requirement means that you know you. Uh, sorry, this is on hand, not already here. You, the gross requirement is 200. Okay, and projected on hand, you have 50. This one, uh, the gross requirement, you have 200. On hand, you already have 50. So that's why you need to produce uh, 150 uh, more products. Okay, as a plan of uh, order release is 150. Okay. Uh, in here, in here, you have uh, 50 in the in the stock throughout the uh, the week from number one to the week number four. Okay, and then at the end of the the week number three, you have 150. Um, product to be released. Okay, 
So that's one when you uh, when you add up to the second uh, process, this one, okay, and then this one also, uh, you have the the end of the previous product to be the beginning uh, number of the following uh, session, like this one, this one, and this one, right? So, okay, now uh, I make a snapshot of this one, and could you please uh, do the calculation uh, for the rest? This one. Uh, now, uh, for example, uh, I would do a kind of a brief uh, illustration on how to design. You could do following the way uh, in the uh, slide, okay? Or you could do this one uh, for the table number one, the so product number one. You have an order of ten. You have a stock of five. So the net to be produced is about ten minus. Five. Okay, so you have uh, five products to be produced, and that five products. Now you need to uh, that five product. You need to produce the top, the leg, short rail, and long rail. Okay, I put this over here. Over here, the top. Because I need to produce uh, five, uh, five, uh, or, uh, five product uh, table one, right? So the let must equal to this one multiply the, the number, right? Multiply with the leg over here. See? So you need to produce uh, 40. Or in a quicker way, you just do like this, select the whole area. You multiply the, or, uh, the net to be produced with, uh, with this one. Uh, sorry, with convert. Um, Sorry, sorry. We transpose. Transpose mean you you convert a road to a column or vice versa. Okay. See transpose. Now check it. You you need to produce a uh, five product table one. Okay, so you need five top, five multiply with four, 20 less, five multiply with two, multiply with two, uh, 10 short rails, and five multiply with two long rails. Okay, so this one is uh, only for the uh, table number one, right? So if you have uh, the other one like for table number uh, number two, number three, next to produce uh, table two, for example, you have six of about uh, ten something like this, and net to produce uh, a table number uh, number three. Okay, you have 
three types of products. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's one, for example, seven. Okay, and now, so you have the, the first week, this one is a week. So now top for the top, you have uh, five product number one multiply with one top plus ten product number two uh, multiply with one top and etc. Okay, so this one for the top, you would do like this. Now that is equal, equal. Uh, equal uh, some product or maybe to make it easier equal to five product up to one multiply with this one the top okay at faces plus five uh, table number two multiply with one top at faces plus seven uh, table number uh, three multiply with the table uh, number three uh, the top of table number three okay So I have 22 now, 5, 15, 22, right? Now for the leg, for the leg, I would do very similar. But for a quicker way, I would do some product of this one. The number of uh, the product of each type multiply with this one, the lack of each type of product, and then you have a hundred, um, a hundred sixteen, right? Now you check five multiplied with four, you have twenty. Okay, you have twenty. Now ten table number two, need four leg. Okay, so you have forty. Now seven table number three need eight leg, so you need fifty six in total. You sum it up one hundred sixteen, right? And same same around here. You use uh, some product, some product of the number of the product with. Uh, this one is a rail, right? So you select the rail over here and you select F4 to fix this. This one I also need to have F4 to fix this. Okay. And the long rail, same. Some product. Uh, this one multiply with the long rail. I fix the address. Okay. So this is for the, the first week. This is for the first week. And you see the top, the left, uh, the soft rail, the, the long rail. Okay. And this one is uh, the order. Okay. Now uh, for this one, uh, this is a required. 